foot soldier. That's the one that's going to truly endure hardness. And when they endure it, they can still go about it, being that as Peter and John, they suffered shame for his name and still was yet able to give glory to God. That's right. See, when you don't be able to get this specific job, this home, or you're denied from this or that, you still got to be able to thank you, Jesus. And it's a responsibility according to the book that you got faith in. In all things, give thanks. Amen. I couldn't exclude that for, because of the death of my mother. I'll be a hypocrite. Had to humble down and say, God, I thank you right. that you took her away Amen. for a specific reason. But biblically to be understood, I begin to learn and understand to know why. When you begin to see and know now that thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier. Hardness can come in many different shapes, forms, and fashions. Might be mine now, but what about you tomorrow? Can you begin to sustain and stand against whatever hardness may come? Because it's going to come. But if you don't have the testimony of the word, you will not have a stance. That's why the illustration of the teaching has got to be soaked and saturated on your heart. So that you could be now thoroughly convinced that you would be able to stand. Amen. Get me that John 16, 33. Finish that up there, Brother John. Amen. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. When you got a purpose now and you understand your mission and what it is that you got to do and how you got to do it. You don't have time to entangle yourself with the affairs of this world. Whatever is contrary and opposite to the word of God, you got to cut off every occasion. And the sin that so doeth easily besets you. See, it's so easy to be entangled in the affairs of the world if you hadn't been properly taught and disciplined and trained. Listen. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. In order to please God, you must endure some hardness. Jump over to the 12th verse and relate to the church what you're reading in the Bible, Brother Jones, because they're going to read that too when you read it. Amen. And let's see if they agree with it based upon what's written in the Bible. They already saw one portion which you read, Brother Solomon, about how much tribulation we must encounter to enter into the kingdom of God. But let's see what he's saying here in the 12th verse of 2 Timothy 2 and 12. Amen. Listen. If we suffer. If we suffer. We shall also reign with him. If we suffer. We shall also reign with him. You mean I'm just, I can't get it. You mean if we suffer? That's right. Will y'all accept suffering? Amen. Do y'all accept it? Amen. He said, if we suffer, right. it's stipulation there. That means you have a choice. Either you can pick your little Bible up and get your bag and cut on out the door. Seriously. If means stipulation, am I correct? Amen. So that puts you in a position where you have to choose to suffer That's right. or not to. See, mainstream Church of America, they preach a doctrine where you don't have to suffer. Serving Jesus Christ is just full of riches and glory and healing and deliverance. Part of it is true, but most of it is full of garbage. Because in order for you to properly be disciplined and trained, needs be that you're going to have to suffer. But are you willing to accept the sufferings of life that you might do what? Reign with him. Abide with him. Be able to be just like him. Haven't you read when you go and study? Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. That's right. Same mind. See, most of what we are prayer, prayer, Lord, use me however you please. But then when he puts you in a position and you see how he's using you, then no, Lord, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> no, not like that. But what you've been asking for. Right. That's why I ask you. Are you willing to accept suffering? Suffering is good. It's necessary. Especially like Peter said, when we suffer as a Christian. You don't have to be ashamed because it's building you. Read on. 
If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Yes. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If you deny him, he's going to also deny us. Even in the process of your suffering, sometimes we don't want to show that we illustrate. We don't want to see. No, no, I don't want nobody. No. God get glory out of that. Because if somebody else looking on, if Paul, like I said, thank God for the Holy Ghost. If the man had stayed down, what you, would the disciples, followers around him, would they have been confirmed if he would have stood down? Did he deny what Christ had already and enable him to stand? Could he deny the works and the power of God within him to just stay down? Even if he was not even dead, but just had a little pain. You know, like some of us, we just have a little bit of stuff going on. It ain't no great big thing. It's just a little bit of stuff going on. And you still with that mind, you stay on down. Let it cripple you when it should be cultivating you. Making you into brothers and sisters that are steadfast Amen. in the word of God. That's right. Listen at the Bible in John 16, 33. And let's get some comfort with your sufferings to see how Christ did it. Amen. Listen at the Bible and Brother Jones, go on over in the book of Peter, 1 Peter chapter 5. And give me about verse 10. Come on, Brother Solomon. 1633 of St. John. These things have I these things I have spoken unto you. These things have I spoken unto you. And it's necessary because the Bible is talking. And it's being able to show you the things of Christ and his teachings. Now, when you take these teachings, he's talking directly to you. Listen. That in me. That in me. Ye Ye might have peace. Ye might have peace. In the world, ye shall have tribulation. You're going to have some. But and you're going to have not just tribulation, but as he read earlier, much tribulation. That's right. Listen. But be of good cheer. But be of what? Good cheer. No, we're going to have a boo-hoo party. I'm going to call you tonight and cry over the phone for three or four hours and tell you how bad my situation is. And hope that you pray for me. When I get off the phone with you 10 o'clock tonight, I'm going to call Brother Abraham right after I get off with you. But be a good cheer. But be a good cheer. No, I'm going to make his heart heavy too. <laughs> you know what about sometimes about people? People want a partner yeah. to go through. But if you don't want a partner for the right reasons, it's best that you stay by yourself. If you ain't going to partner with somebody to show and illustrate that even through my sufferings, you can make it. That's right. Nobody shouldn't really be encouraging you. You should be encouraging somebody else. Amen. If you say you accept suffering. Amen. No more cries out and heaviness coming upon someone else's heart because of what you're dealing with. We all flesh. Don't get me wrong now. But we want to get to the point that even though we're flesh and we go and endure these things, we want to get to a point that where we're thoroughly convinced and persuaded that it will not separate us from the love of Christ. Knowing that whatever I go through and encounter, I'm still going to be able to stand and hold my ground. Amen. Listen at the Bible. But be of good cheer. Now he said be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He's done what? Overcome the world. And when you arm yourself even with this mind to overcome the world, didn't you say we are more than conquerors earlier, Brother Jones, in Amen. Romans 8, 37? Amen. Nay, I say that we are more than conquerors. It's one thing just to be a conqueror. I can conquer this bottle of water. But when I'm more than a conqueror, I can take the pulpit and everything. Because I'm more than a conqueror. Whatever I see and want, I can devour it by the power of God. Amen. Listen at the Bible. Chapter 17. Lord, no, read, read that back over you. These this things, a little bit slow. These things I have spoken unto you, uh -huh. that in me ye might have peace. Yes. In the world ye shall have tribulation. Yes. But be of good cheer. Of good cheer. I have overcome the world. The greatest example that you can have, that's why I said it, it ain't about me. It's a great example of someone that hung blood and die, but he didn't stay there. By the spirit of holiness, according to Romans 1 and 4, he rose up from the dead by the spirit of holiness. Amen. 